Hey, what's up everybody? Hammerheart Metal Reviews here once again doing another classic album review for you today. And today we are celebrating the 30th anniversary of what I consider to be a landmark in death metal, Deicide, with their second album, Legion. So this album was released March 1st, 1992. I cannot believe that this album is 30 years old. Absolutely crazy. Like I said, this was their second album follow-up to their self-titled debut, which was also a great album, really put them on the scene. But then this one, I think, vaulted them to even the next level. It's just a little bit more technical than the debut. Not that I'm not going to debut. I love that album as well. But this one really took the songwriting to the next level. It is eight songs. It's only 29 minutes, so that would be a knock on it. It is maybe a little bit too short, but it is very to the point and very awesome. Lineup on this album, of course, is the classic Deicide lineup. Glenn Benton, of course, the main man behind Deicide doing bass and vocals. Steve Asham, a longtime drummer. And at this time, they had the brothers Eric and Brian Hoffman playing guitar. So there's a lot of trade-off solos and just really great riff writing throughout this entire album. So this one, to me, it has no weak moments. Like, there are no weak songs on here at all start to finish like i said it's only 29 minutes but those 29 minutes are all amazing it's just it's a pummeling onslaught like steve ashheim's drumming really shines on this album the double kicks and blast beats just throughout it's just constant very relentless album there's really like chilling guitar leads throughout like just eerie feeling it really evokes this evil vibe throughout the whole thing very overtly satanic so that might not be for everyone but i mean it suits the music perfectly like glenn benton sounds like a satanic insane man on this album his vocals i think this is some of the best his vocals ever sounded this is like a heavy as hell album some of like i said some of glenn benton's best vocals and i think it's one of deicide's best albums as well like they might have hit their peak very early in their career with this album there are a couple others that are right on par with it in my opinion like once upon the cross serpents of the light and the debut all absolutely stellar they have some standout moments throughout their career as well but i think the first four albums were really their peak and this one is possibly the very best and I don't know that's a tough call I did a deicide ranking a little while ago I think I had this one at number two but it could easily be number one like this is just pure blast for me on record it's got just like chopping manic riffs throughout and just an intense rhythm section throughout the entire album so anyways before I ramble on too long here I'll just go through track by track, give you my brief thoughts on each song, and I'll give this an overall score out of 10 at the end. So this album does kick off in great fashion with Satan Spawn, the Kako Demon. Absolutely great title. Starts with like some sheep and goat sound with just like this ominous atmosphere. And then all of a sudden there's like demonic vocals coming in just like... No, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just over top of the sheep and goats and the ominous sounding. It's just this like, it sounds like a demon speaking. And then all of a sudden an explosion of death metal with just intense drums and great riffs. And the chorus is just super catchy, super evil as hell. Just fuck it. Yeah, absolutely great way to kick off the album. And then yeah, coming up next, the second song, one of the catchiest songs on the album, very hook driven death metal song dead but dreaming so like i said yeah this one's super catchy it's just crushing throughout the whole thing great riffs and drumming you will not be help yourself but sing along to this once you've listened to it a few times it's just great absolutely killer song one of my favorites on the album third song repent to die another really solid one the double kicks really shine on this song heavy as hell really applaud steve asham for just fucking nailing the drumming on this album it's really nice aggressive riffing throughout as well another really catchy one the chorus another one that you'll be singing along to born to be dead repent and die waste your last breath on the lord jesus christ so fucking evil and awesome sorry i think i just scared my dog by doing that he was sleeping just popped up so yeah we'll, uh, maybe i'll not be screaming too much throughout this video i don't want to freak him out too much but yeah that made me laugh anyways but after that song, uh, Try Fiction is up next. This one's got some really complex riffing. It's definitely one you're going to be headbanging along to. You just won't even be able to help yourself. You'll just find yourself bobbing your head. Fucking solid, solid song. Second half of the album kicks off with Behead the Prophet, No Lord Shall Live. 
Glenn Benton's vocals on this song are just so evil and insane. It's like almost over the top, but it's super enjoyable. I love it anyway. It's probably not for everyone, but I really dig his vocals on this. This one's got a really like ha heavy and thrashy sections throughout the song and all in all, just a really solid song. After that, it goes into Holy Deception. I really like the heavy riffing style of this song and just how this whole song is structured anyway. Like after the really heavy riffing style, it goes into this nice tremolo riff and it's just a really well-written classic death metal song. And yeah, it's a classic for a reason. Speaking of classics, the next song, one of my favorites on the album for sure, In Hell I Burn. So it's got a catchy ass evil chorus, In Hell I Burn for Satan. Like, I'm going to be repeating myself here a lot, saying the same things over and over with all these songs. Heavy as hell, evil, drumming is crazy, the riffs are crazy. But yeah, this is a perfect example of like the classic Deicide sound that they had in their early days. If you've never heard, somehow never heard Deicide before, go check out In Hell I Burn. That'll give you a pretty good idea of what they're all about and whether you'd be into them or not. After that, it goes into the closing track, which is possibly my favorite track on the album, Revocate the Agitator. Not just one of my favorites on the album, but probably one of my favorite Deicide songs altogether. That just gave me an idea to do a video of my favorite Deicide songs. I will probably do that at some point, and we'll see where this one ends up. This one is just super fast and relentless, thrashy death metal. And yeah, the chorus, Revocate the Agitator, Revocate the Agitator, Revocate the Agitator, Revocate the Agitator. Sings it so fucking fast. Glenn Benton sounds so awesome on here. Absolutely love this song to bits. So all in all, yeah, for an old school death metal record, this is exactly what I'm looking for, especially in the like satanic death metal variety. Deicide does it better than most, pretty much better than anyone, at least in their early days. And yeah, this album stands the test of time. It's 30 years old, but it still kicks fucking ass. And yeah, so to score this out of 10, I'm going to give this a very solid 8.8 .8 out of 10. So maybe it's not quite like a 9 out of 10 level, because maybe the technicality of the guitar work and solos isn't on par with maybe bands like Death, for example. But nonetheless, I don't want that to sound like a knock. Anything over 8 for me is extremely good, and especially anything over 8.5 is something I really highly regard and would strongly recommend. So 8.8 .8 is a very solid score for me personally, and yeah, that is what I'm scoring this album. Love to get your thoughts down below. Do you think this is a classic? Does it stand the test of time? What do you think of this album overall or just Deicide in general? Always love to get some conversations going, so give me your thoughts down below. And anyways, until next time, give me a like and give me a subscribe. Hammerheart Metal Reviews, out!